Sunday morning now. We had seven mil of rain on Saturday, but we're still we're plowing now. And I'm now going to uh, start drilling. I've just got to wait for him to get enough in front of me so I can do anything. Because uh, the other tractor, which is parked down the bottom there, at the moment it's just got a flat battery. We don't quite know why. It was isolated. So we don't understand why, I'm just trying to get the range, the jump leads to get over here. So hopefully I can get that one going, because what we have to do, we have to plough for a bit, and then one of us has to go, then I go on the drill, because one plough cannot keep in front of the, keep in front of me with the drills, so. Yeah, I've just got the drill set up. I had to make a few adjustments, because obviously we've had some rain, so it's a bit more wet, so I found that it was cutting in too deep, so I had to put the, Pack a roller down here on the on the uh, rock, uh, the power hour by one hole. If you had, I, to make it work properly, I had the top link here, the hydro top link full length. And then when I got to the end of the field, <laughs> it was so long it wouldn't lift the drill off the ground. So I just had to do a few adjustments. Also got the um, wheel eradicator tights. Yeah, they're in a bit deeper to try and pull out some of the compaction because obviously it's a bit wetter now so compaction is more of an issue when it's wet when it's dry it's not too much of an issue so i think we're set up now here comes the plow last we've got the jump leads are coming out my mum's going to bring the jump leads out to hopefully get this uh this tractor down here fired up because at the moment uh, he can't, he can't keep in front of me at the moment, so we've done, well this is my fourth strip, I'm now in the, in the tram line, as you can see we've got the markers down again, so. We just got the tractor going. We're now both plowing, plowing together. I'm here in the other plow, just setting in at the beginning of the road. All the seagulls have come to say good morning. We've got the plow set probably about. 16 to 17 inches I'd say Farrah. This hydraulic ram, this green hydraulic ram here, that one will go, will go in between 12 and 20. So I reckon it's probably about the 17, 16, 17 mark, looking at where it is. So. adjustments onto my plow at one end so you got in front of me so yeah I'm just doing this round I'm gonna go back to the bottom and get the drill. This is the replacement 
replacement the 230 had to go back so it's been sold so we've got another another blue blue power a t7225 full spec apart from the 360 light package and no gps it's got the vario transmission which is good as well but it's five horsepower less but it should be okay we used to have one of these a 225 not a blue power at all Right, we're back out ploughing again. We're trying to get the plough set up. It's a bit, a bit sticky, but we're not getting too much wheel slip. I'm getting like, I'm not focused. 11, 12, 10 wheel slip, so it's not too bad. Yeah, I've got the, the 225, the blue power one. The other young lady's got the, He's got the uh, 260. So I'm struggling to keep up with him. Obviously he's got 35 extra horsepower on me, so. always work to turn around like that because the, the each row is getting longer. I find that's the best way to turn around. Right, it's Friday morning now. I'm out with the with the plough here again on this on this 225. I've just come across a place where I think we've had some uh, hair courses because this bit here it's a different colour was drilled. So, but we've had some hair courses driving across across our field again um, it's not that it's not the uh, people we rent this land off because I know the tread pattern on their vehicle and this is not the same so yeah they obviously came straight across our field because the gateway in the fog over there and I they came straight across the field go through here and out the bottom if you follow these tracks down here you can see where they've gone onto the onto the verge at the bottom and through this gateway here and then disappeared I don't know somewhere over there I presume so yeah I've got this 225 it's a bit compared to the 260 you do notice the difference in the power it is a bit less but it's still it's still uh, working because what I've got I've got to plough this field and then I'm going to drill it right let's now just got caught at 11 the fog still hasn't cleared it's a bit not quite as thick as it was but yeah when I was on the way over here the fog was quite bad and I met at least two or three cars that hadn't got their lights on in the fog it's not very uh, not a very sensible idea yeah I've not got about I don't know three hours left over here at least I'd say there's a bit of a corner over there before I get on the drill. Well I've got the headland the headland management set up here on this button here. Press the red button to record it which is what I've already done. 
and this one to play it back. You have that one on auto, but then you have to be on exactly the right speed, otherwise it will either let the plough down too early or too late. So just have it in auto. And then to make the to make it go, you just press this button here to do each step of the sequence. But the only thing is you can't the forwards are reverse this one here, you can't include that in the sequence, which is a bit a bit frustrating in my point of view. So what I do right at the end of the field. I put my foot on the accelerator, press it once, which has now started the sequence, and that's now just cancelled the cruise control, you heard the rev slow down. Then I press it again, it's now lifting the, lifting the plow up. I then have to change, change direction here on this. Then I press it again, which will then narrow the plow up and turn the plow over. It will turn around, pull back into the fire. Press this one again, which is now dropping the plow down. And then press it again, which re engages the cruise control, and off we go. I didn't seem that simple the way I did that, but he's pretty simple. Well, I'm not holding the camera. Right, well, just doing another inspection to make sure they're all seed is coming out of all the coulters again. It's about half past five Friday afternoon now. Yep, they all seem to be working. All pipes are connected and everything. So you have occasionally had this pipe come off either here or out there. So that was twice in the last two or three years, so it's not regular, but you check these things every now and then just to make sure everything's okay. It's about six o'clock now. I'm almost out of seed. This here tells me that there's two sensors, one down low and one higher. It tells me I'm right down. If I hadn't got this camera here, I would have to keep getting out and checking it to see how much I've got because the seed is coming over on the, on the trailer with the loader but uh, we're on other farm so it's going to take a while so with this camera I can push it until I can see that there's no seed in the bottom if you look at the one on the right it's a bit lower than the one on the left so I might have to go out and just shift a bit across but I can see exactly when that runs out whether I get to the end of this run before that right hand one runs out you can start to see that stirrer in the bottom there so now I have to stop and loose them across. Right, well, I've just leveled the corn out. It's uh, in colour now because the, the sheet is open. So hopefully we've got enough to fill, finish this road. Now I'll be at the top of the field ready for the... In that corn over there near that big tree ready for the... When it comes to the poor sea. He's on the way now so he shouldn't be too far away the time I get there. Right, we've filled up the seed now, put about a ton in there, two bags. It's uh, the seed in this, this hybrid King's Barn, bar, winter barley. It is a, it's called a three million seed pack, and the thousand gram weight is 48. So it means it's 480 kilograms in each bag. I've got two bags in, so I've got just under a ton now. There's a very low seed rate in this hybrid, we're doing at 114 kilograms a hectare and it goes up to 123 in the more sticky bits. Saturday morning, I'm just, uh, I've just got the head and plow on this field now and drill, so I'm just checking the oil on this tractor. Yeah, that's fine. And then we're going to check the back axle oil. Yeah, that's up to up to the level so that's fine. Alright we're just doing this headland. Got the two plows in front of me, the 260 there and the 225 blue power there. And I'm in my 270 blue power.
This is the first row around the headland. We say the first row, well, three rows in. Well, what I did last night, I went round the edge of the field and put the put the boundary in. If you can see, this is the third, second, and that's the last one. And so now I'm now driving on the third one in. I've got my marker out there just to check everything's okay. So I'll do this one, which is the tram liner. So you can see I've got the tram liner on. I've got the tram liners down on the back. So that'll be the first one. Then the second one, and then the last one should come right next to the border. If my, all my calculations work out correctly, which they should do. So we'll just see how we get on. I've never done it like this, but we had to plough the field starting from the middle working out because of how we've done it you see so that was the way I had to do it so just hope it will go okay we'll just see so we've just got a bit of a twist here because if you look there's a the tree comes out here so the tractor is, is just steering around this it's like an obstacle it's just a boundary of the field so yeah, we'll just see, see how it looks when we finish it shouldn't be too bad because this system seems to work pretty well and I, thanks to one of my subscribers who sent me the the link of what I had to adjust, it was under back, uh, I can't remember what it was under now, toolbox, this, yeah, I had to adjust this here, that's the minimum I could have it, six was the minimum I could have it, because that's my working width, so, yeah, that seems, that seems to be working, so, thank you to the person who left that comment, very much appreciated, especially in this situation where I'm having to work from that, inside the field how if you look you see a little bit of fog left most of it's clear but the other the ploughs are now going along the top top end of the Blue power does look good in the in the sun. All three in the line, the 270 blue power on the left, the 260 in the middle, and the 225 on the other side. We're now on the final row around this field to see if this uh, setting lines up. Seems to be. Bang on the edge of the field. Well, it's just in front of me. There are a few problems down that bottom corner there. There's sort of green stuff in, that, in this corner here. In the under there. It's so shaded by trees. It doesn't... Um, doesn't grow very well, the corn doesn't grow well, but then that then means the grass all grows. So yeah, but we're 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 not moving now. He blocked up four times in that corner he said. So just over on the corner, still right up. 